Hey, good morning, friends. Jeff from Bygone Classics, and do I wish you could see the smile on my face. It is an absolute honor and privilege to be presenting this stunning frame-off restored 1971 Olds 442 convertible. This car was sold new out of Hippodrome Oldsmobile in Tennessee. Uh, it was in the same family until the early 2000s. Tennessee car. This car never had any rust. Uh, please see our photographs um, and our documentation video, and we'll go through some of the uh, restoration photos showing that the car has all original panels. There are no patches welded in. Uh, this is the kind of perfection you get when you start with a car that is stunningly clean to begin with. The owner who meticulously restored this car really wanted to take one to perfection. And so no expense was spared. Uh, original parts were plated. Um, uh, paint markings were matched on the car. Um, nothing was, was left out. The video today is going to just focus on an exterior walk around of the car, uh, pointing out some fantastic details along the way. Uh, but we encourage you to give us a call with any additional questions, uh, or you're welcome to take a look at the photographs that we have provided as well. Car is painted in a 71 only lime green uh, poly paint, so it has a just spectacular, uh, like pearlescent look to it that I hope comes through on the video. Uh, tastefully done with a white top, white stripes, white interior. It's absolutely gorgeous. The amount of time taken to get these body gaps absolutely precise stands out so much you'll notice too the stripe kit on this car is hand painted uh, as it would have been at the factory using the assembly manual stencils um, some of you might be saying, gosh, those, those stripes look high. Well, no, that's the way they correctly did them in 71. Um, so the owner had a well-known uh, pinstriper in the Milwaukee, Wisconsin area um, use that factory template to lay down the stripes as closely as they would have to the factory as possible. And he did an absolutely spectacular job. Another great detail, too. You see so many 442s that are missing the deck lid stripes. And again, uh, using the assembly manual, as well as photographs uh, of this car with its original stripes, and uh, other survivors. Everything was done just the way the book wanted it. Chrome on the car is it's just out of this world, right? I mean, it's, it's stunning. It's completely show quality front and rear bumpers. You can see Nice details here with the bumper um, fillers on there. You see so many cars that have pieces like that missing. The car is optioned really nicely too. We'll talk about that in another video. Um, but you see the front and rear bumper guards and I'm sorry, I just got lost looking at the car. <laughs> Gosh, these super stocks look fantastic on here with these uh, Goodyear poly glasses. This is a brand new set of G70s um, that we put on. We did 
get word. I'm still in touch with the restorer quite a bit. And we did get word that the car uh, likely ran the polyglass is new, um, not wide ovals. So the decision was made to uh, make that correction. For those of you in the Oldsmobile world, um, yes, this car was restored by Stratesteration out of Oak Creek, Wisconsin. Uh, Stritz does impeccable work, absolutely impeccable work. And again, when you start with a car as clean as this one, it's it makes the job a whole lot easier. There were just a couple tasteful add-ons. The car originally uh, was not a Ram Air car. This hood was sourced um, off an early takeoff uh, in Indiana. So the Stritz drove to go pick this one up. This is not a reproduction hood. We do have the uh, factory flat hood. So if the buyer wants to uh, you know, work with us to, to get that to them. That's, that's terrific as well. Um, but that Liberty was taken mostly because it's so easy to swap a hood. Um, if somebody wanted to go back to the original hood. Again, no detail spared. Notice in other videos, too, um, headlamp buckets, parking lamp buckets, all of those have been meticulously replated. Other nice details, original bumper bolts that have been re-chromed and reused. Um, they're nice and flat. You know, the reproductions just, even the good reproductions don't look like that. And, uh, again, it's, it's the, the level of detail that I think a real Oldsmobile lover will truly appreciate. Um, different pieces on the car are still, uh, original and not replated because Stritz liked the appearance of the original item and and just you know knew that when they were replated they wouldn't look quite original so you'll notice some of this trim on the car is is actually original and uh and not redone at all uh, again a testament to how nice this car was uh, before the restoration started. It has earned all the accolades. Um, it was a 989 out of a thousand point score at the Olds Nationals. And you've heard me in other videos complain because nine of those 11 points are, are pretty nitpicky about having wax uh, built up or a dirty white letter. Um, it's also earned first prize in the antique automotive uh club of america uh that is a really prestigious award that's a discriminating club and uh that that first prize is uh is not something that they that they give out all the time the car also earned, earned highest honors at the muscle car and corvette nationals uh McCacken. So uh, again, it, it's, it's not just me saying all of these things and in these videos pointing out all of these meticulous details, um, it's nationally renowned judges saying the same thing. You know, something else worth mentioning as well, we'll start over here on the uh, driver's side glass. This car has all original glass in it. 
So again, if you need that reassurement uh, that, that this car was gorgeous to begin with, it's stuff like that. All that tinted glass is, is just gorgeous. Original trim around the convertible top. Again, more soft right there. Original windshield in this car. Just, just the lightest little bit of uh, windshield wiper where they're not actually like seeing that because it, it helps prove that yes, this is the original glass that's in the car. Other little details that I'm thinking of as we're going over the car, the hood stripes, again, meticulously laid out. Uh, these are notoriously done poorly. Uh, and so for those of you looking for kind of a template, this is, this is how they're done. And uh, these were painted. You can see just the way the light dances off this thing. <laughs> all four, all five original super stock wheels. Uh, again, we have pictures with the trim rings off, so you can see those are all date coded. Um, you know, encoded correctly for the car. It, it, this would really just be. The ultimate showpiece in anybody's collection, my friends. It, it is stunning in every way. And in my opinion, what takes it over the top is that it runs and drives incredibly well. Fit and finish on this car is spectacular. Um, so many frame-off restored cars to this level are only good to look at. You, you, you get in them and, and they can be an absolute mess. And we're talking about six-figure cars, gang. Some of you are nodding along because you know some of the well-known cars out there that run and drive really poorly. Um, this one, again, take a look at our ride-along video. She, she runs and drives so well. And everything opens and closes on this thing. <laughs> and then, of course, of course it happens. Uh, I'm not going to edit this, friends. No way. This is too funny. So, <laughs> uh, good times. Let's take a moment here to, you know, looking from the rear. See how nice and straight all those lines are? And it continues. I mean, it's, it's not just in one area. And it's easy to do, easier to do, when you're starting with such a high-quality car. Um, again, the, I, I spoke to Stritz last night and asked, hey, did you even put any patches on this car? And he chuckled and said, no, no, it didn't need anything. Um, <sighs> all, I mean, it doesn't end. The Hippodrome Olds emblem that he had restored. This is the original that was on the car, and he sent that out for restoration. It, just, I mean, the gloss, right? And the mild, deep shine, depth. Paint was laid out super nicely, too. It's even. Top is stunning. I, oh, now I'm fanboying the car, so it's, uh, it's time to stop. Ladies and gents, Jeff from Bygone in beautiful Maisel, Maine, Wisconsin. Uh, we welcome any inspections on this car. Uh, if you do have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, but rest assured, there won't be any disappointments with this one. Thank you.